quick update on the kitchen. The countertops are in. This countertop is Cambria uh, Pra Sands, which I, I guess is a coastal area in England. Didn't know that, but that's what it is. And the uh, appliances are, are, are in too. Well, <clears throat> some of them are. We had a delivery today of the refrigerator, the microwave, and an attempt at a delivery for the oven, but the oven uh, had some issues during transport and got bent like a pretzel. So no oven. So we'll, we'll try the oven again. But this is the countertop. Let's see, I'll give you a little close-up here. There's a lot going on on this countertop. Some great colors. This is a Cambria Quartz. So supposedly it's really durable, easy to maintain. You know, you don't have to worry about it. And the refrigerator is a KitchenAid. Everything in the kitchen is going to be KitchenAid, all the appliances. So it's a KitchenAid countertop depth refrigerator. It has uh, the water dispenser inside, automatic ice maker. Obviously the, the split doors and the, the freezer down the bottom. So that's pretty slick, that the, the way it uh, tucks into the to the area. That's the cabinet depth. First time having one of them. If you don't have one, be prepared to spend more because there's not that many of them and they, they, they make you pay more. I guess there's more engineering involved to package a refrigerator in a counter depth space. Makes sense. And the microwave. <clears throat> KitchenAid as well. Um, little issue with the microwave and that you, you probably can't see it in the video but the uh, the plastic shiny bezel around the perimeter of the microwave is somehow scratched to high heaven. I have no idea why or how but it is things only a couple hours old and it's already all scratched up so that'll be addressed and then also with the uh, the fridge too I don't know if you can see it but on the the outermost edge of the doors there's this white stuff and it's actually the insulation that they spray into the doors and if they spray too much, I guess it leaks out, and that's what I have. So, in several areas of the, the unit, there's this dried foam that's kind of making its way out of the unit, and I guess it's common, and unfortunately, mine has it as well. So, <clears throat> not necessarily a good day between the, the oven being bent like a pretzel and not being here and, and both of these items um, requiring additional attention. So, but the countertop is in, real nice. The uh, sink is in, uh, also real nice. Uh, there's the uh, the faucet, I'll, I'll keep that under wraps, we'll, we'll do that in the next video, but I got a really nice fa uh, faucet from Delta. It's the uh, ESSA faucet and also a soap dispenser that's what that box is so we'll get that in <clears throat> uh, still waiting on hardware appears to be a bit of a issue finding enough units of the hardware that I selected to to finish the kitchen so we're, we're waiting on that um, just as a reminder too, this, this blue color here, this is not staying, this baby blue is, is going. That little color sample right there, the little piece of paper, that's actually the color that's going on. It's a Sherwin-Williams color. It's called Labradorite. It's a really, really, really nice blue. And it, it should really go well with the uh, Cambria Quartz countertop and also the, the tile floor. Um, the tile floor has been a big hit. Pretty much every contractor that comes in here uh, expresses 
their uh, their like of the tile floor. So that's nice. Made a made a good choice there, I guess. Uh, so that's that's the update. And next update, we should see we should see hardware. We should see the faucet installed. We should see an oven, which would be really nice. Uh, probably the electrical work will be finished up. The plumbing work will be finished up. And we'll see what else. But that's where we're at right now. Thanks for taking a look.